Hey, hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today. And in today's video, I am going to uh, talk about some of the uh, fruits and vegetables you can grow in the uh, spring and uh, summertime. The reason why I'm doing that is because I had a uh, subscriber last week that asked me to, to do a video based on what type of fruits and vegetables that they could uh, grow since they are a beginning gardener. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I have a short list of things, and if there's something that I have omitted that you uh, like to grow in the spring slash summertime, feel free to drop that in the comments so that some of the uh, beginning uh, gardeners can look at that list and say, hey, I never thought about that. Maybe you may give them an idea that I didn't give. All right, and in my garden, I don't plant every single thing because there's some things I just don't like. All right, so I'm going to go through my list first, and then I'm going to take you in my garden, and then I'm going to show you some of the, the things. All right, so basil, you can uh, grow that in, in the uh, summertime. Tomatoes, you got cucumbers, you got cantaloupes, watermelons, you have peppers. There are a lot of different types of uh, peppers, like bell peppers, sweet peppers, hot peppers. I mean, the list goes on and on. Um, carrots, you got okra pumpkins, green beans, sunflowers, eggplants, you have beets, marigolds, you have potatoes, um, you can grow kale. Kale I grow in both the uh, cool and the uh, warmer um, seasons. You have parsley, you have onions, you have uh, sugar cane if you can grow it. So everybody can't grow sugar cane in their area. And some of the things that I didn't list, you have blackberries, you have uh, blueberries, you have raspberries. Now, I'm going to take you on a little uh, tour of my garden and show you some of the uh, things that I have in my garden. Now, I'm not going to, uh, you'll see some of the trees that are in my garden, but I'm not going to talk about the trees today. I may do another video on the types of trees that I have. I have over 20 trees. Well, I think I you know I have to be exact 20 trees in my backyard. All right, so here we go. All right, now I don't know if I mentioned uh, strawberries, but in the springtime, I planted this row of strawberries as well as these trees. These are my uh, newest trees to my uh, food forest. All right, my uh, tomato plants. I just uh, pruned my tomato plants. Some of them, I'm gonna do a video on how I prune them but that's another option. And over here, I, I actually see a little baby tomato right here. You can see it. Yep, right there. All right, so there are more tomato plants. And I talked about the uh, sugar cane. That's the sugar cane. Everybody can't grow sugar cane in their uh, climate. All right, now here are the uh, peppers these are the uh hungarian peppers i didn't know how hot they were because last year was the first time that i uh um, planted them and they are very very hot at least to me all right so i have bell pepper plants i need to get some more bell peppers and here are just some more uh pepper plants right here and over on this trellis i planted cucumbers all right so Hopefully they'll uh, do well and then uh, I may plant another one on this side But I do have a couple more over on that other trellis and here's the uh, giant sunflowers that I like to grow Right there and if you look on this side, these are the uh, melon plants. Oh, I love my melons All right, these are uh, cantaloupes and over in between there are the uh, watermelons right here and in between this uh, these rows, I like to put uh, marigolds. So marigolds is another staple in my garden in the uh, summertime because they help out my garden because of uh, pollinators and they uh, get rid of bad bad bugs. And they also get rid of rabbits, but I don't really have a problem with rabbits. All right, so here's my uh, trellis. I got more uh, watermelons. And more cantaloupes on this side. And over here, I have the uh, squash. I have a butternut squash. I have spaghetti squash. 
and I'm looking at the pollinators getting busy. See that little baby um, squash? Looks good. And I also, like I said, I um, have kale and I grow kale in the uh, summer uh, months, spring, summer, and in the fall when it gets uh, into the uh, winter time. I don't like kale, but it is very, very healthy for you. Um, the way how I eat it, the only way I can eat it is mixing it up with uh, some uh, grapes for the sweetness because kale is kind of bitter, at least to me. All right, over here, I have my jungle, jungle of raspberries. All right, so I need to cut these back and keep them together because they will grow all over the place. All right, so I can't wait to have more uh, raspberries on the uh, bush now over here i have blackberries so you can grow blackberries during this time hopefully we'll get a lot of blackberries all right so these are some of the things that i'm growing and over here i'm excited about this here are my onion uh plants now these are are already very very big compared to what I got last year and I may uh, do a video on what I've done to uh, try to get these uh, bulbs as big as possible hopefully they get even bigger all right so this was an overview a list of some of the things that I'm growing some of the things that you can grow and if you know of anything that I did not uh, state, feel free to drop it in the comments because you are helping beginning gardeners or you're just helping anybody that wants to uh, add something new to their garden. If they um, didn't come up with the idea on their own, maybe you can share what you uh, plant in your summer garden, your spring garden, and get them on the way. I don't remember, I think I did say corn. I planted corn for the last couple years. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to uh, plant corn this year or not. Um, so I'll see. I gotta see if I got space for it actually. All right, but this is just a uh, a video letting you know what you can grow in the uh, spring and summer months. Um, oh yeah, and I'm going to um, start my uh, my green beans pretty soon. I'm gonna do pole beans, so I'll probably make a video on that. That's another option for you that you can uh, you can plant, and there are probably a lot more that I haven't um, gone over, but that's that's enough to get you on the uh, right start. All right, this is Bear Brown. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.